Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since my last video, so this is going to serve as sort of a follow-up. Uh, I can show you kind of the newer updates for iOS 13 as far as the beta is concerned and mouse support on the iPads and iPhones. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to go over. Uh, there's a few nice changes. Um, this is iOS 13 Public Beta 8. Um, there is a new iOS 13.1 beta available for developers that I don't have access to at the moment, but uh, if I do gain access to it, I will uh, release an update video as far as that's concerned to see if there's any updates or changes with that. Uh, as far as this update is concerned and the last few updates past my last video, um, not a whole lot's changed. As you can see, the mouse cursor, you can actually make it uh, significantly smaller than the previous video, which is a lot nicer. It just looks nicer. It's more fluid. It's not as much of an eyesore. Uh, you can still change the different colors. Uh, we'll just go into accessibility real quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, that is where this feature is going to be when iOS 13 does release. Uh, it'll be under accessibility in your settings options, and then you go to assistive touch. Uh, assistive touch will have to be on, but uh, that normal square that's usually there when you have assistive touch on can be turned off um, by going here and it says always show menu. Just turn that off and you won't have to worry about that. Um, so in terms of like the device, so I'm using an insignia Bluetooth mouse this time. Still same customization. Um, there is an option in here called long press which I thought uh, in RuneScape in an old school RuneScape would act as a right click more or less if you set it to the second button but it, for some reason it just kinda kinda glitches out on me I'll, I'll show you later on in the video uh, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet so let's just go ahead and move on um, as far as the mouse is concerned you can go to pointer style and so this is the smallest size and you can crank it all the way up to this giant one here uh, previously it was more something around this size but uh, the smaller one's much nicer uh, you still have that auto hide feature and change that to whatever seconds you want uh, colors still pretty much the same uh, I'm I prefer the white one. The red one might work pretty well for a lot of people too, just so you can keep your eye focused on that mouse and not get lost. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get in game because there's not really that much changed here. And uh, just kind of show you some gameplay with it. I, I am hoping that in the future there will be an update that will allow that long press to actually act as a right click for some mobile games like old school runescape um but you know currently at the moment this, this is kind of where we are and uh, to be honest with you i'm not complaining i think that this works out really well um i by no means think that it's unusable i think this does give it a good desktop feel almost uh, especially since you're on your ipad or iphone however you want to play um it just gives it a lot more functionality with the mouse. I'm definitely able to, you know, click through my potions, click through all my settings and my menus and stuff like that. Um, eat food a lot faster. It helps with loot tremendously. Um, as far as a right click goes, you still have to long press, you know, like click and hold until that pops up. You know, hopefully that gets changed with the long press, like I said. So in a second here, after I kill this, we'll go ahead and change that setting just so you can kind of see what's going on with it. Uh, but it, it, it does work um, you know there's some quality of life things I would like to see changed but uh, as far as that goes uh, not too and it would long press on this enemy right but for some reason it moves my mouse to the middle of the screen and locks it in place for a few seconds and now it's kind of bugged out and if I try and click on something it locks my mouse in place every time that I do that I'm not really sure what's causing that uh, I'm sure there's some simple setting, but uh, you know if you do have any suggestions on what might be causing that problem, please feel free to let me know. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, not really an eventful update video, to be honest with you. But um, it does it does work. Um, to be honest with you, I was playing for a good two hours last night with the mouse, and it just feels so so comfortable to be able to set your iPad up anywhere you go or your iPhone anywhere you go. And, and not have to worry about this big clunky laptop um, and, and still being able to use the mouse. 
more or less the same way that you would traditionally. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Uh, I've been trying to reply to all of you guys. I know this video has been taking a while to, to get out there, but there really hasn't been that major of an update as far as spouse support is concerned, but I do think it is a very viable option on the iPad and on the iPhone, and I'm really excited to have this released to the the public in just a few more weeks when the new iPhones and new iPads and all that are announced and released. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like, uh, feel free to subscribe, and um, look out for future videos. And if you do have any questions uh, about any other games or anything else that you might be able to use mouse support for on the iPads or on the iPhones, please feel free to let me know. And um, as always, thanks for watching.